Good afternoon everyone. This is the Corner Gardener. Um, we're getting ready for a hurricane soon so I wanted to get a post in a day early and so today what happened was like maybe about I don't know a year ago someone down the street had cut a bunch of logs and I took a bunch of these stumps and just kind of put them in my yard and let them sit outside in the sun and the rain and I wanted to show you what happens, what this beautiful thing, when wood starts to rot. And I actually think this is, to some degree, how soil is made. So, if you take a look at how the wood is starting to rot, this is really important to note that it's, it's really soft. It's really this beautiful, light, fine material that I think that when wood sits out and just it just breaks down over time. This is largely soil, or it will become soil at some point. These logs or stumps have been sitting out for about a year, maybe a year and a half. I'm not really sure when I put them in my yard. But as you can see, this the side of the bugs, <laughs> um, this whole inside is just beautiful, wonderful, soft, light, moisture retaining stuff bugs crawling all in there and it's and it's airy and it's wonderful and I think if you can get enough of these logs to break down over time this is the beginning of really good soil you could probably mix this in with you know, whatever you have in your garden beds and it's certainly not going to do any harm I know sometimes when you work with fresh wood you have to worry about the wood taking up too much nitrogen from the soil thus robbing the plant of, of that sort of thing but if you look this is this is wonderful this beautiful stuff here you get enough of these logs or stumps or branches and you just let them decompose and this is what happens you know imagine a whole bed of nothing but wood that has been broken down like this over time added and amended to soil what nice what a nice amendment that would be and you also have all the benefits of the nutrients and the minerals the trace minerals and whatnot that the wood has taken up in the course of its lifetime so i just wanted to make sure that you realize that if you have wood logs or, or even smaller branches it doesn't matter let it stay in your garden let it decompose because not only will it i think make soil eventually or some semblance of soil or at least something very much like it that a plant would thrive in. But you're creating habitat for little creepies and critters of all kinds. And it's not taking up space in a landfill. It's actually doing some good. So wish us luck here in North Florida over the weekend. And hopefully I'll show you how I incorporate this into my garden as soon as it breaks down just a little bit more.